with Amy Sargent, doing outreach and education for the CCDC. Here, I'll show you how to calculate a full interaction map around a small molecule. Let's get started! To begin, launch the program by clicking the icon. When the Mercury program loads, you will notice a list of ref codes along the right-hand side in the Structure Navigator window. These represent all of the structures in the CSD. The molecule that we'll be investigating is iodobenzoic acid. To browse to this structure, simply type its ref code in the search box. The ref code we'll be using is BENMOW02. You'll see that the molecule appears in the Mercury display window. Simply click and drag to rotate the molecule into an orientation that you like. Once you get the view that you like, calculate the full interaction map. To calculate the map, simply choose CSD materials from the top level menu and then choose full interaction maps. A dialog box appears which gives you several options for calculating the map. For purposes of clarity, we will untick the box to display the first contour level. On the right hand side you see a list of probes. For this example we will use the uncharged NH nitrogen probe for a hydrogen bond donor. We will use the carbonyl oxygen probe to represent the hydrogen bond acceptor. We will use the aromatic CH carbon for a hydrophobic group. And because our molecule has an iodine we will use the organic iodine probe as well. So check this box here for CI iodine. And then click calculate maps to produce the map. The full interaction map appears, showing regions of interest around our molecule. Areas of blue indicate where a hydrogen bond donor might appear. Areas of red indicate where a hydrogen bond acceptor is likely to appear. And regions of purple indicate where our organic iodine would appear. To see if this crystal structure fulfills these interactions, simply tick the H-bond box at the bottom of the Mercury screen. This shows hydrogen bond interactions in the crystal structure. Click the hydrogen atoms to expand the contacts and grow in the next molecule in the crystal structure. Here you can see the hydrogen bond acceptor and the hydrogen bond donor appear in the areas where we would expect them to be. To investigate the iodine contact, tick the box next to short contacts. This displays all of the short contacts around the molecules in the crystal structure. Here you can see an iodine atom near the region where we would expect to find an organic iodine in this crystal structure. If you click the iodine, that expands the contact, and now you can see the next molecule in the crystal structure, and you can see that this interaction is also fulfilled. As you can see, full interaction maps gives you an indication of the hydrogen bond and short contact interactions that you might expect to find in a crystal structure. Hopefully, this demonstration has shown you how to calculate a full interaction map and how to investigate whether or not the contacts in the crystal structure fulfill those interactions. For more information, please see our website or workshop materials. Music